Okay, let's get on to the second experiment then in this uh, second year Da Vinci experience. Now, last week we had a bit of fun using the voltage control oscillator that's inside the CD4046 CMOS circuit. So we're just going to do a little bit more of that now. Uh, what we did last week was we just put a DC voltage into the control voltage. And then the very last thing we did was put a capacitor across that input. So from the pin 9 down to ground. And we found there was like a real delayed reaction. When we changed the voltage, it took a while to follow as the capacitor was charging and discharging. Well, we can use that. So what we can do is we can make a nice slow oscillator here with a Schmidt trigger oscillator, which you probably know about already. And uh, then we can probably make ourselves a nice little police siren. Let's try it. So we'll just quickly put that together. So I've already got the circuit connected. We can just uh, quickly check it out. That's just going to be our circuit, which just we left last week. Instead of me having to do this manually, we're going to get our little circuit to do it for us. So, let's just shut that up for a minute. So here we are. We're going to have a 4093 CMOS IC, which is a little set of four Schmidt trigger NAND gates, which are fabulous for making a lot of circuits. And we're just going to make a little oscillator with this. So there's a 10 microfarad capacitor on the input, and that's going to charge and discharge via our 1 meg resistor, which we're going to use for this instead of the DC voltage that we had before. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the resistor from where it was, take out the wires. It's often just best to take out the wires and start fresh. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put a 10 microfarad capacitor onto the input of one of the gates in this chip. Uh, so we're just going to use the bottom left hand gate over here. Now the other input we just need to enable so it's going to be going to plus nine volts. Let's do that. So next door input pin two, we take up to nine volts. Yes we do. Then what we need to do is we need to connect the output so you can see it. So let's go to segment D of our display. That's fine. So the output goes to D so we can just see what it's doing. A, B, C, D. Done. And then you would normally say, all oh, right, we've got our oscillator. So we now connect our output to what we want to control. Actually, we don't. This is rather strange. We're going to connect the input of the oscillator to what we need to control because the output is just a rectangular wave uh, logic low logic high logic low logic high which just means this would just be whatever it is which is not too good so what we need to do is to have a nice rising and falling tone rising falling and that's exactly what we have at the input of the oscillator it's actually arising as the capacitor charges falling as the capacitor discharges okay enough talk let's actually do it so there's our pin 9 wire, which you're going to now go to the capacitor input of the oscillator. Now, everything else should be intact uh, from last week's work, um, except that we haven't yet done the pot. That's fine. Let's do that then. So that's going to go from the output of this 4093 NAND gate. It's going to go through this 1 meg preset resistor and come out at the wiper so it's one end and then the wiper and then that's going to go to the capacitor so let's see what happens we now turn on takes a while to warm up first and it's quite slow <laughs> dramatic police scanner so you can actually make it a bit faster if you like by reducing the resistance so you can see segment D over here 
is showing the output, the rectangular output of the oscillator. And you can hear from the loudspeaker that obviously we are changing the control voltage of the of this voltage control oscillator which of course means it's going to affect the frequency so in fact another name for the voltage control oscillator is a voltage to frequency converter